can you mediate your divorce if you don't trust your spouse because of some financial impropriety on their part? Hi, I'm Claire Piero, a family and divorce mediator and attorney. I, I would say you can, but I also would say that you can only mediate if you believe that the other person will mediate in good faith. What I mean by that is that they'll fully disclose income and assets, that they'll attend meetings and do the work that's required in between meetings, and that they're not just using the mediation process as a means for delay. So if you believe that they will engage in the process in good faith, but you're afraid that you're going to agree upon terms and put them into a separation agreement, but then they'll never be implemented because you don't trust their, them on a financial level. So then I would suggest in the mediation that you talk about ways that you can reach agreements that will give you some security that the terms that are being agreed upon will actually be implemented. For example, if you're receiving support and you're just afraid the other person isn't going to pay it, I've had clients agree that the payer's employer will make a direct deposit of support into the spouse's bank account so that they're assured of getting the payment directly. If that doesn't work because the person's self-employed or doesn't want to let the employer know what's going on, I've had clients set up an account that's funded by the person who's paying support, and it's kind of like an escrow account that can be used if support isn't paid. Um, alternatively, I've had clients agree that the person receiving support will get more of the assets, kind of like a prepayment of support, so that they're also assured of getting payments. Now, if the person that you don't trust finance, financially is the person who's going to be receiving support and you have some concerns about them being able to pay the mortgage that you're jointly obligated under because they're the person who's staying in the house and they're obligated to pay the mortgage, you can provide in your agreement that part of the support that you're paying will be paid directly up to the mortgage and then the balance goes to that person so that you're sure that the debt will be paid. So you don't have to forego mediation, you just have to make sure that the terms that you're agreeing upon are going to be implemented and you're secure about that. Now, the next video that I'm going to do on this topic would be the most difficult, and that's when you don't trust your spouse because of infidelity. So watch out for that. As always, you can visit my website, the link will follow, and check out my blogs and videos on divorce mediation and family law. Till next time, be well.